Shalom everyone, Joshua here, and welcome to another episode of Undoctrinate. Question, does the Lord God just willy-nilly bless any people that call on him to bless them? Well, by the power of the Rock HaKodesh, I pray the truth is revealed to your heart, mind, and soul today. This is one that has really, really bothered me for some time, and I've spoke on this in the past, and just having this press on my nefesh this morning to speak on this matter again, all right? No, the Lord God does not just bless people that call on him to bless them. There are certain things that have to be done, like, I don't know, you know, obey his commandments. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Turn from your iniquities and sins? Kind of crazy, eh? All right. This is the challenge to all the lukewarmers out here in America um, with their, you know, heresies and apostasies through the various demonations. Uh, they obviously are not studying scripture. Oh, as Justin Wilson said years ago, many people can read reading, but they can't read writing. And this is how you can clearly tell that the churches have fallen into apostasy. And quite clearly, that's as scripture said it would be in prophecy. This is what I'm calling y'all to do. I'm calling you the people. I'm not calling on my Lord God. Uh-uh. I fear the Lord God. Quite frankly, I don't ask for any blessings because I don't deserve squat, peeps. You know what, Joshua, I myself deserves hellfire, condemnation, wrath, and judgment. I deserve Gehenna. Yeah, that's what I deserve. So you know what? I don't ever ask God for a blessing. I am thankful for what he gives me. But no, I, I never, ever pray, God bless me. No. I'm already blessed enough just to know Yehoshua and his forgiveness. What more blessing do I need, peeps? Come on with it. Man, y'all on something else. But here up in America, oh wait, let me let me get it right because they so slack jawed these days, they can't even have enough to to speak their own nation's name with some kind of dignity. United States of America, no, it's just America. You know, it's funny that when I was a kid, you know, the word okay was O-K-A-Y. But as I got into my teenage years, okay got dropped to just the letters O and K. And by the time I got into my young adulthood, it had just become K. What have we really left the children? But I digress. Back to this in the lukewarm apostasy of the, quote, churches, unquote, in America. And yes, I'll put quotes around that, which I should have did, did earlier in the video. But yes, I put quotes around the word church because I firmly, through my studying, 100% do not believe the word, quote, church, unquote, should have been used etymologically to translate the word Ecclesia. Yeah. Don't buy into it. And I see a clear agenda in all this. Clear agenda. And it was only by the power of the Rock that I can even remotely see any of this. But let's get back to the whole God bless America thing. It's garbage. It's garbage. Stop serving the prince of the power of the air. That's the only one going to bless this nation. Because at this point, the Lord God done left this nation to a reprobate mind, peeps. Reprobate mind. What don't y'all get? Because y'all ain't calling out to the people to repent. You're not. You're not. There's no repentance. No repentance. None. Zero. There's no fasting. There's no ashes and sackcloth. None. And here, clearly and distinctly in Nehemiah chapter 18, verses 6 through 10, these verses right here destroy destroy the whole God bless America nonsense coming from the lips of the lukewarmers. Oh yeah, their lips may profess him, but their hearts are far from him. Because if their hearts were right with God, they'd be calling this land to repentance. They would be standing before the Trumps and the Bidens, calling them to repentance. Yeah, Trump never repented for the evil 
that he spoke. He never did. He never repented with ashes and sackcloth before the women and saying, I am truly sorry for my disgusting and perverse ways. Why? Because he's a pedophile like the rest of them. Don't you get. Don't you get. He's a conversos. Do you know that? Do you even know what a conversos is? He's a conversos, but of the Democratic fold. See, and he played y'all. He played y'all like he was a Republican. He's been a Democrat his entire life. As a matter of fact, going back to the, and here again, I am going to digress, but going back to the whole wall matter, the border wall, two of the people that 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 uh, benefited the most financially through financial gains through the contracts and such that were done for that border wall are Democrat supporters. <laughs> But you don't study. You don't care. You just you take everything at surface value, at face value, at, at surface level, peeps. <laughs> but you don't dig. And back to where I was at. And this is clearly how you can tell the apostasy of the demonations out there. Because they're always, well, God bless America. God bless America. I'm going to hold my golden calf idol flag up. And if you talk bad about my golden calf idol flag, well, you're evil. And yeah, I, that literally happened to me very recently, um, within the past month and a half, two months ago, uh, when I met a neighbor, we seemed to have a good rapport in the beginning, and then I made mention of my strong conviction and the fact that y'all will be waving that golden calf flag around, and then I was no longer welcome at his house, and I dust my feet off, and I'm still smiling every day, peeps. Ain't hurt my feelings none. But so, yeah, here you go. This sums it up right here. Let's go ahead and bring it to an end. Jeremiah 18, O oh, bias Israel, can I not do with you as this Yotzer says Hashem? Hine, as the Komer is in the Yotzer's Yad, so are ye in mine Yad, O oh, bias Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a Goy and concerning a Mamlacha to uproot and to pull down and to destroy it? If that goy against whom I have pronounced turn from their ra'ah, I will relent of the ra'ah that I plan to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a goy and concerning a mamlacha to build and to plan it, if it do ra'ah in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will relent of the tov wherewith I said I would benefit them. Like, what did y'all not get about that? And y'all still out here crying, God bless America. But I be on my knees screaming out. Repent, people of America. Repent, people of America. Repent. And if you want it, in a little clearer English, because, you know, I'm sure, you know, what's, what's funny is they can't, they can't read the King James, but I'm sure, you know, you can read all that, right? But nah, 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 here you go, here you go. Read it straight up right here. This is the Blue Letter Bible app, Jeremiah chapter 18. O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine hand. Oh, do you see how I did that? So are you in mine hand. Wow, amazing. I took a ye and changed it to a you. <gasps> oh, that is so profound. O house of Israel, at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it, if that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it, if it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. And if y'all don't get that, we don't serve the same Lord God. And right now, ooh, I dust my feet off. Get thee behind me, Satan, in the mighty name of Yehoshua. For you mind not the things of the Lord God and Shammayim, but the things of men. Because you take everything at face value. Study to show thyself approved. And the Lord God will reveal the truth. And I call y'all. I call this land to repentance. And if you don't want to repent, boom. Feet dusted off. I'm out of here.